Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, just got a simple planter box build for you today. Uh, really, I just did this. It was a way to use up a bunch of my scrap wood that I had left over. I had a bunch of ash and white oak from some previous projects just sitting on the rack and just really didn't, it wasn't enough to do anything of any uh, substantial size. So just came up with this little planter box. Uh, and really pretty simple build quick build if uh if i actually wasn't recording it probably could have got this built in an hour or so and it's a super simple build just follow along and hope you enjoy here i just started with uh, the milling process just getting everything uh, flat true and square and it started out on the joiner and moved to the planer here as you can see and eventually i will be moving to the table saw Like I said, here we are at the table saw, and I ripped everything down to four inches uh, for the planter box holder itself. Just and these numbers are just arbitrary. You can make this to whatever size you wanted. Uh, it's it be dependent on how much scrap wood you have left and um, what its dimensions are. All right, we're going to turn our attention to the miter saw here and just cutting some 45s on the edges of all of our pieces. And I made mine 10 inches. That is 10 inches from uh, long point to long point. And like I said, these numbers are arbitrary. Just make it to whatever you want. All right, now that we have our material cut, we'll get them glued up. Uh, these four pieces make up the main body of the planter box. And we're just going to use simple tape and glue here. If you've never done this, uh, using tape here to glue up your miters works amazing. I definitely encourage you to try it if you've never done it. All right, we got our miters glued up. We'll just do a little cleanup here. I like to use a card scraper. It makes this task uh, just a little bit easier, gives you good access, and uh, just makes it easier for sanding later. And as you can see, this came out pretty square, so we're happy with that. Next, we'll turn our attention to the legs, and I cut mine at 8 inches, and you could cut these to whatever size you want. Uh, just make it relative to your top and this angles we will be using is 31.6 degrees so you'll need two pieces at eight inches from long point to long point uh, both cut at 31.6 degrees all right the next angle we'll be working with is 24 degrees uh, these pieces, like I said, you will be. You can cut these as long as you want. Uh, cut mine, I think it's about three inches. But one of the angles on this piece is going to be the 31.6, and then the other angle is that 24 degrees. The 24 degrees is the base of the leg itself. It's the part that actually sits on the ground. And as you can tell, this is a bit of a scary cut. My hands are pretty close to that blade, so uh, just take your time, be safe, and if you don't feel comfortable doing this, just use your table saw with a table saw sled or something. And here we're going to start working on the half lap joint for the legs themselves. Uh, just got my layout lines marked out on it, and I'm just making this the thickness of the material itself. So just lining it up, scribing another line, that way I can reference my blade to these lines. And 
And I just want to sneak up on this cut. I'm just taking my time here and really don't want to cut it too much off because uh, that'll just result in a very loose joint. All right, got my two pieces cut. I'm just getting ready for the glue up here. And these went to be together pretty good. And it's pretty snug, actually. You'll see here. <laughs> I start beating it down with a hammer and it won't go. So we end up using a a clamp just for a little extra uh, persuasion and it worked out pretty well. All right, now we're going to make the bottom panel and this is pretty quick and simple glue up. I uh, ran all this down through the planer just to get it closer to about a half inch in thickness. And uh, here we're just going to glue it up using these match fit uh, dovetail clamps with these X pads. Uh, this system works pretty good for uh, just a quick, easy glue up. The center one is going to be used as a clamping call to keep everything flat. All right, here the glue is dried for the miters, and as you can tell, they came out great. This tape, uh, using tape as a clamp, works awesome. It's way better than using nails, and uh, there's no filler. All you do is get a quick little sand, and this comes out great every time. So, like I said, I highly recommend trying it if you've never tried it. And here I'm just making a mess, cutting this rabbit uh, to house the bottom panel. And uh, yeah, this was just blowing dust straight up into my face. And not a big deal, just kind of uh, annoying and just had a little cleanup at the end. All right, the bottom panel, the glue has dried and we're just doing a little cleanup and we're gonna round over these edges just with the orbital i just made some marks and we're just gonna round it over kind of being lazy not uh, <laughs> using a chisel to make it square it doesn't really matter nobody will see the bottom of this anyway all right just getting that bottom panel set in place and just doing a little hammer fist and <laughs> get it to go and rounding over this corner has actually worked out pretty well. Uh, it's fine. You won't see the gaps there. You'll never see the bottom of this thing anyway. So uh, it's not a big deal. And I just used uh, four staples uh, basically to hold it while the glue dried. And this worked out pretty well as well. All right. Let's glue the legs to the bottom of the plant holder now. And just use glue here, and once again, just using the uh, tape trick again to kind of hold everything in place uh, while the glue cures. All right, I finished this piece with two coats of uh, spar urethane. It works pretty good for outdoor projects. And uh, sanded it between each coat, and the results turned out pretty good. I uh, delivered this to my neighbor, and he was happy. I hope you enjoyed.